Pernet really held up and uh, you can really catch almost anything on it. <laughs> All right, introduce yourself. Okay, hey, uh, my name is Brendan. Uh, I'm Where at, are you from? Uh, I'm based here in Manoa. I uh, work for UH. Uh, and I tried out the Slater's new Boss Up model, 7.6. Um, I think the thing I was most impressed with was something that long in the 7.6 can turn so quickly, almost on a dime. Super lively, incredibly responsive. Um, I think the thing that blew my mind was how fast it was down the line. I thought the down the line speed was really great. You can make sections um, that uh, for me as an old guy, I'm 45, uh, I wasn't making. Uh, you're still so. young. <laughs> <laughs> you're still young. <laughs> but it was a blast. We, yeah. we surfed it at Diamond Head, we surfed it at Old Man's uh, and had great paddle power and it's so light. Um, and I, I think, uh, yeah, overall just couldn't have had a better experience. Yeah. So how big was it at uh, Diamond Head? Uh, Diamond Head was mm, maybe chin high. Uh, chin high? You know, <laughs> if I'm honest, head high. Uh, so I think Surfline was calling it three to four plus last night. Uh, yeah. If we want to get technical. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, really it was in one sense a great set of conditions to test it because it was quite windy, quite choppy, fairly small. So I thought that would test the paddle power of the board and it really held up. And uh, you can really catch almost anything. On it. So what fins were you using on it? Those were the Endorphin 2 plus 1 setup. Uh, so something like real small in the back, try to get uh, a little more speed because it's a little smaller uh, the last couple days and yeah. You can whip that board, huh? You can really, really move it around and, uh, and really in some, yesterday it was some really uh, kind of wonky conditions at Diamond Heads. Yeah. You can make some unusual sections and you can maneuver it in some pretty fun ways. So. I had a blast. Yeah, you were saying earlier you were surprised that you can go to Old Man's and catch waves. I was shocked. I was shocked. Old Man's was, yeah, maybe like the sets were three feet uh, yesterday. Uh, so and really I was thinking, thick waves. Super thick, and I was thinking, ah, there's no way you need like a, a boat to catch boat, like waves out there normally. Uh, but you know, on the set waves, it was no problem. You can get down the line. It was also fun testing it on the backside. Yeah. You know, see what the backhand could do with it. You can really, I'll be honest, my backhand is terrible. <laughs> uh, and so it made me look a lot better than I am. And what is your height and weight? So I'm 5'11", uh, I weigh uh, just under 180, like 177, depending on who's asking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so UH, what do you do at UH? Ah, I'm a researcher there. So I work for an amazing institute that we work on philosophy for children. We collaborate with all the local public schools like Waikiki Elementary, Ka'alepulu up in Kailua, and Nane Kapono out on the west side in Nane Kulu. And Nani Kuli, and we uh, we do philosophy with the kids. Uh, so we wonder about amazing ideas. Sometimes we talk a lot about surfing, talk about Aloha Aina, Malama Aina, think about our oceans and our places that we come from and how we can care about them. But we use a philosophical mindset to ask questions. Really? Yeah. Wow. So then, what, what do you guys do with that research? Uh, so we collaborate with all the teachers, and the main idea with that research is the question is how can we make school a much better experience for a much more diverse group of students because we're all learners right some people are great at the three R's reading writing arithmetic they're amazing at the classical school stuff but most of us love surfing most of us love being in the outdoors most of us are artists in different yeah. ways not everyone fits that mold and so by having a, an environment where every single kid no matter who you are where you're from what your ideas are can ask questions that are valued and respected in an intellectually safe community we can dream big ideas uh, so it's pretty cool so is there like a um, uh, a site that people can check out just to see what's going on and yes, what the yeah, studies are? Absolutely. Uh, at UH, you can look up Philosophy for Children. You'll get it right away. Uh, but I, I believe it's p4c.org. Uh, let me check that. P F O R or number uh, four? The number four. Uh, so let me just double check. Yeah, no worries. That right. Otherwise, my boss will be uh, <laughs> He's listening to this. He's uh, like, absolutely. P4C. So P, the number four, C as in cat, Hawaii. Dot org. Dot P4C Hawaii dot org. Right on. Thank, Thank you. I'm you. glad I asked you. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Right on. All right. Mahalo Nui.